Hello humans and welcome to Atlas Mega 10 Mondays. It's that time again when we discuss all things Atlas and all things Shin Megami Tensei and everything else in between in the Atlas universe. So sit back, relax, and let's see what we're going to talk about today in the Atlas Mega 10 universe. This show is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. On today's episode... First of all, let me say, let me take my hats off to all these guys that run this server. You know, my hats off to them. I am a huge Mega 10 fan, but the work of love that these people are doing, the labor of love that they're doing by keeping the server alive and, you know, having people come in and play it for free because it's absolutely free is really something that should be commended and, you know, appreciated within the community. And I don't think it is. So I specifically made this video to give them props, you know, and make people aware that this is still going on. And I'm sure many of the hardcore Mega 10 fans out there are, you know, aware of this. But there's people, you know, specifically now that, especially with these game prices, you know, how do you experience Megami Tensei for the first time? You know, do you play ROMs? Do you, you know, buy cartridges? Do you pay over? you know, <laughs> overvalued prices, well, this is a good entry point, you know, it might be a, a, a little cumbersome to download and put in your computer, but if you haven't done it, I suggest you do, you know, if you're really a fan of this series, so let's dig in, and at least let's see what's going on with Shin Megami Tensei Reimagined. Are you a Shin Megami Tensei super fan, and I mean a degenerate? Well, you probably are if you're watching this channel, because why else would you <laughs> subscribe to a channel that talks <laughs> about a really old game, and uh, the host is a really old guy? Well, if you enjoy this kind of game, this kind of torture, the sweet torture that the Shin Megami Tensei universe is, I welcome you. And today I wanted to talk about Shin Megami Tensei imagine or reimagine in this case because you know of course the game has been offline for a long time but it's still being kept up by fans and that's an awesome awesome thing right um and they're calling it shin megami tensei reimagine right there's several reasons why you may want to play this game like i said if you're a super fan like i am um there's a lot here for you you know, it's sort of like going back in time. This is what Shin Megami Tensei 9 uh, was the genesis of. You know, they made, me, they made Imagine based on that. And, um, you know, Imagine finally went online, went offline, but this is what they got. And when you get in here, you know, it's, it's a, it's a miss, mix, a, a nostalgia mix for sure. You know, you're looking at something that looks like from the PS2, Xbox era, you know, those kind of graphics, but still enjoyable and also old school, you know, PC gaming. Now, let me just describe this for you in case you've never heard of it or anything. Imagine or reimagine in this case, it's, it's a fan hosted um, and it's a fan run private server, right? And that's because the Shin Megami Tensei Imagine is now defunct. They don't use any copyrighted server code and it's entire, entirely developed by fans and volunteers. Um, and you know they work, they work closely to improve it right now. The English section is only half done. You know there's a lot of sections where it's just Japanese. But here's a pro tip. Just use your phone, use the Google Translate. And whenever you see Japanese text, you can just put it right over it, and you should be able to understand anything that you don't. You know, the syntax is a little off, the grammar's a little off, but you should be able to understand most of it, especially if you're familiar with the series. Um, now, am I saying it's a plus 10 experience? No, but I mean, this is something you do if you're a true fan of the series, you know? I mean, <laughs> if you want to go down this rabbit hole, which is pretty awesome right um, and there's a couple of things here guys um, 
and there's you know very few differences between the servers they have now and what they used to have in the past best of all there is no money here they don't ask for donations none of that anything that you know for the game you have to earn through the game which is pretty awesome you have to go on these missions you have to you know collect things and exchange them for points and items and things like that and you know you can go into the to the game another great feature that it has is that there's a discord server you can join there's other players you know you can ask questions so on and so forth so it's a real community effort I think right now there's like 27,000 people some something like that you can go and check when you log into the server now installing this program is gonna take a while you know I, I want to say it took me like a couple of hours uh, at least um, to put it in my laptop but once I got it up and running you know it was no problem um, I had to get used to the controls you know I just never played it on a on a PC I wasn't familiar with the game so I had to you know do a little testing I'm gonna put a link in the description of my first playthrough which I did live um, you know I just turned on Streamlabs and I just start playing it see what happened and you know you're seeing some footage here that I recorded later um, but the playthrough will take you through the first stages of the of the game you know you set up your character so on and so forth you know all the demons are there it's really a nostalgia trip you know it's more of a action RPG so far you know what I played the very little that I played but you know I'm really glad that I found it I'm you know, I'm glad that, that, that I had this time, you know, they're making the most of this time in quarantine to find something like this, you know, and really delve into the Shin Megami Tensei universe, you know, and I'm, I'm glad that I have this series to be fond of and follow, you know, there's so many branches, so many things that I'm finding out about, you know, and get excited about, even though they're old, to me, they're new, you know, and, and, and to find other people that have the love of this series that I do is pretty wild, you know, and it's pretty wild and in, in, in the different kind of people that are in here. I mean, there's Japanese folks, there's young folks, there's, you know, folks like me of <laughs> the original video game generation, if you will. But it's all awesome, you know, and it reminds me Whenever I, I think of all the bad things, for example, that are going on in the world and in gaming, things that I'm unhappy about, things like this bring me back hope, right? Um, and I think in these kind of moments is where you can tell the difference, for example, between the true, uh, you know, hardcore to the bone SMT fans as opposed to somebody that just likes Persona. The two very different experiences you know, I enjoy them both. I really do. Um, but I have to have them both. You know, I'm, I don't know how people can split one without the other. Because to me, they're, they're two sides of the same story. You know, looking at all the games and looking at all the things that I have. When I'm going through these games, you know, I get us Depending on this server specifically. Depending on who I'm talking to, I get... You know, Persona 2 vibes, I get um, Nocturne vibes. Uh, some of the design reminds me of Strange Journey or Soul Hackers. The music actually is pretty good. The ambient music is pretty strong. I really, really like it. And so far, man, I'm, I'm having a great time exploring. I wish I had more time to, to play all these games, you know, because sometimes I don't know which one to choose or what to focus on so I'm trying to use the most of my time right now that I have to be stuck here in quarantine and again guys I'm feeling great I mean I'm really not sick from COVID I'm just isolating to keep the people around me safe you know and make sure nobody gets catches it you know trying to do the right thing but uh, I'm trying to make the most of my time here so I'm shooting these videos and saving them you know and it's gonna be nice to look back a couple of years from now and see what we're, what I was doing during the pandemic and uh, what I am going to remember most of all is how deeply 
Um, I really dug into these games, the Shin Megami Tensei series, how much I dedicated my time to my collection and playing these games. And, you know, just enjoying my collection and building it. And I'm really glad that I'm getting to do this during this time. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. Remember, like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss another Atlas Mega 10 Monday. I will catch you on the next one. I'm going to leave you with some gameplay, and I'll leave the link to the first original play in the description. Remember, I have a Facebook for you old people. I have the Twitter for you youngsters, and I'll put all the links down below. All right. Take care. まず左クリックで目標を捉えろ。捉えたらさらにクリックしてアタックだ。ザコ悪魔がいくら雇用が同じ左クリックで目標を決めて攻撃開始だ画面左下のショートカットにあるスキルを押しても攻撃できるぞアタックスキルを連打して連続アタックを決めてやる Thank you for joining me on another episode of the Gen X Gamer. Remember to like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and remember, never be afraid to be happy. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.